from Ibrahim alayhi salam, you get two nations. You get two nations that are in the Quran from Ibrahim alayhi salam. You get the children of Ismail, and the other side, you get the children of Ishaq. But actually, more famously, instead of talking about Ishaq, we talk about the grandson of Ibrahim alayhi salam, who is, you know, Israel, Yaqub. And so we, we more famously, famously call them the children of Israel. You've heard that before, right? So we'll make it simple. On the one hand, Banu Ismail and the other Banu Israel. Children of Ismail, children of Israel. You with me so far? Two nations. And both of these nations, they go back to who? Ibrahim alayhi salam. Now keep this in mind as I tell you this. There are three dreams in the Quran from prophets. Three dreams that are mentioned in the Quran that go back to prophets. The first dream is that of Ibrahim alayhi salam himself. What dream did he see? Anybody know? You can call it out. What did he see in his dream? What was he doing? He was slaughtering his son. And he saw that multiple times. Inni arafi fil manami, inni arbahuka. I see, I continue to see in my dream that I'm slaughtering you. This is the first dream of a Prophet. The second dream of a Prophet is Yusuf alayhi salam. What dream did he see? Eleven stars, the sun and the moon, you remember? That's the second dream. The third dream in the Quran is that of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the dream of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is actually one mentioned in Surah Al-Fatih. لَقَدْ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ رَسُولَهُ الرُّؤْيَا بِالْحَقِّ Allah confirmed the vision of the Prophet, the dream of the Prophet ﷺ, that they're going to make Hajj. And they're going to be shaving their heads. When do you shave your head? When after the animal is slaughtered. Now here's the amazing thing. All three of these dreams are connected to each other. And actually, our Messenger ﷺ is the fulfillment of the first two dreams. The first dream was Ibrahim ﷺ. Who was he slaughtering? Ismail. He was slaughtering who? Ismail. And when he, when, when he finally went to do this, Allah replaced Ismail alayhi salam. And that became the legacy of sacrifice. And that sacrifice became part of Hajj, didn't it? And the Prophet saw a dream that he will be doing what? Hajj. And when do you shave the head? After you are done sacrificing the animal. In other words, the dream that was started, the legacy, the, the mission that was started with Ibrahim alayhi salam reaches its perfection with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The two dreams are directly connected to each other. Which dream is left? Yusuf alayhi salam. But the dream of Yusuf alayhi salam is amazing because Yusuf alayhi salam saw a dream in which he, for, he overpowers his brothers even though they did wrong to him. They did wrong to him, he overpowers them, and by the end of Surah Yusuf, when he's overpowered them, he turns to them and says, لا تثريب عليكم اليوم No harm will come on you today. No harm will come on He forgives his brothers. Isn't that what he did? That's the interpretation of the dream. He was able to overpower his brothers, they fell in sajda, and he, he said there's no harm coming on you, he forgave them. Now the dream of the Prophet ﷺ once again was that he conquers or he, he makes Hajj. You cannot make Hajj until you take over Makkah. You can't just walk into Quraysh and make Hajj. You have to conquer Makkah. So the fulfillment of the Prophet's dream ﷺ happens at Fath Makkah. But when he conquers Makkah, he had brothers that had done him wrong. Who were they? Quraysh. And now he has overpowered them. And when he's overpowered them, He's, he should be punishing them. They, they fought him in Badr, they fought him in Uhud, they fought him in Ahzab, they fought him through conspiracies, they tried to poison him and kill him. They tried all this stuff, and now he's finally overpowered them. This is the time to take revenge. And what does Rasulullah say? He says, I'll say to you what my brother Yusuf says. لا تثريب عليكم اليوم Exact same words. The, the Prophet ﷺ is the completion of the dream of Ibrahim with Ismail. And he's also the completion of the dream of who? Yusuf alayhi salam. Now why is that important? Why did I bring this up now? I brought this up now because if you think of the families. Remember I talked to you about the families? Ibrahim alayhi salam has two lineages. Through Ismail and through Israel. One of the dreams is from this family. The dream of slaughtering his son is from Banu Ismail. The other dream of Yusuf alayhi salam is from the other side, from Banu Israel. Literally, Yusuf alayhi salam is the son of Israel, of Yaqub. And now Rasulullah is fulfilling both of those family lines 
they all come together with him. What we're learning is that when the Rasul of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the final messenger, it no longer matters whether you're from Bani Ismail or Bani Israel. You are now completely the fulfillment of the legacy of your father Ibrahim. Mm-hmm.